Amen, 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 amen. God bless you today, amen, again, in the precious name of Jesus, amen. I thank God again for today, amen, um, giving me a chance to, amen, repent and get things right with him, amen. I just give God the glory, the honor, Amen. I give God the praise. Amen. And I worship. Amen. His precious holy name. Amen. Um, before I begin, Amen. I, I want to share, Amen. Um, about a a she was a co-worker. Amen. We worked together. Amen. And she just had such a a beautiful spirit. Amen. In helping people and uh we've lost her she have went on amen to um to see her maker and i believe her daughter amen uh kiki amen and misha amen uh misha's the one that has went to see the lord and i believe that they have a a uh, gofundme page going on amen to help with mom amen and um I tell you, um, it, it, it's, it's, it's sad to my heart, amen, um, but I will always remember her, amen, but those of us that are here, amen, it, it just lets us know uh, that no man know the hour of the day, I mean, we plan our lives, we plan two and three years, but we don't know what God has planned. And this is why we have to walk into our purpose. Amen. Each of us, every person in this world, amen, have a purpose for God. Amen. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you've done. Amen. You have a purpose in your life. Amen. For the work of the Lord, for the work of his ministry. Now, listen, I did not say for the work of a church. Amen. I didn't say work a work for the name of a church, for a culture, for a religion. Amen. Or denomination or tradition. I say for the work of the ministry of God. Amen. And um, those of you, amen, that are listening to me, if you knew her, amen, contact and, and, and help out with the go for me now they have no idea that i'm doing this or saying this amen this is just something amen that is placed in my heart amen because i remember when i kind of first got here in jacksonville i i hadn't well 10 years amen maybe 11 now this year that i've been here in jacksonville and um i remember uh you know job hunting and job seeking and and i just i, I wouldn't rest until amen I, I find some type of employment amen when i first got here and i i had a few but lo and behold amen when i met her amen we just clicked right then and there amen um through one of my daughters amen she became the godmother amen to one of my daughters and that right there amen just um uh, had us amen together amen it, it, it just brought amen a union amen be betwixt her and i and um i told her i'm looking for a job and she made sure i had a job and she i meant not only there but she was my supervisor also amen and and i tell you it was beautiful we worked together we had a beautiful relationship amen and i'm just saying that she had a very good heart amen of helping people and each of you uh, uh if you know if you know her even if you don't amen have compassion amen and help the daughter amen to be able to help her mom amen and i just want to thank god amen again for our lord and our savior amen jesus christ amen and i also also want to give thanks amen to all the leaders amen that have reached out to me amen um and i them and you know we'll message amen one another and that we are on 
one accord. Amen. Everything is going to be on God's timing. Right now, God is just positioning us. Amen. Preparing us. Amen. For that time and for that hour. Amen. And I just truly want to thank God. Amen. For what God is doing in this hour. I want so I want to also thank God, even the connection, amen, that God has wrought, not only here in America, but all the way overseas, amen, to another country, amen, to Pakistan, to Africa, amen, and other cities there in Pakistan, and also in, in Africa, Omega, uh, uh, Kissy, Kenya, and I think it's Omega, amen, Omega is just different cities there, but I just thank God, amen, for the connection, amen, that God has wrought us, is wrought us together, amen, to be on one accord, amen, to put away, amen, our denomination, because right now, it's just time for Jesus, amen, and, and before I go any further, amen, um, we're just going to keep going on as God say go, as long as he tell me to go, I am going to go, and we are going to go into, into 1 Peter, the second chapter, amen, in the ninth verse, now last week, I told you, amen, that I was going to do something, and I have a picture of hell, as well as I have people, amen, being raptured up, amen, to be caught up, now, neither one, if you take a look at each and every one of them, let me see if I can point my amen fingers well look like i can't get to it but okay i'm not gonna worry about it but anyway um there is no denominations in hell it's just an individuality as a person amen according to our words according amen to our heart and this is how we going to amen be judged do you really have the love of the father within you amen so we're going to go into first peter the second chapter ninth verse but we're going to go into prayer first father right now god in the name of jesus god i thank you for everything that thou hast done and the things that you are going to do amen in the future god God, I pray right now, God, that you continue to move. God, that you continue to look over the land, that you continue to look over the leaders, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. It is the leaders, oh, Father, right now in the name of Jesus that we come together on one accord in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, and I don't want to forget, amen, also, amen, apostle, Amen. Haywood Williams, I thank God for him. Amen. And the other leaders, amen, that have came together, amen, to put away the denominations and tra traditions, amen, and the formalities. Amen. I thank God for each of them, amen, that have came together on one accord, one accord international. Amen. I thank God. Even I... I am included in that, amen, and we're just, amen, believing God, and we're going to pursue, amen, but we're going to go, amen, into 1 Peter, the second chapter, and ninth verse, and I'm going to have that reader to go ahead and read, so read for me, amen, read. 1 Peter 2 and 9, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold right there for a moment. I'm going to hold right there. And I want that to be read one more time. Read with him. Now, this is coming from 1 Peter, the second chapter in the ninth verse. Amen. Record it over your phone so you could go back to it later on. Amen. Write it down. Amen. Glue it or do something. Amen. So you can remember. Amen. The word of the Lord. Amen. Now this is 1 Peter, the second chapter and the ninth verse. Now come on and, and get this to me again. Glory First to God. 1 Peter 2 and 9. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood. Now we are a chosen people. We are a chosen generation. I'm reminded that in the Bible that it reads and it says that we, while we was yet in our mother's womb, God was forming us 
right then and there. He formed us, amen, to be chosen, a chosen generation of a royal priesthood. Now, he ain't say nothing about, amen, and now the royal priesthood is, is that you're part of a, of holiness, amen. He didn't say go out there and spend $500 on a robe, amen, so, amen, you could look all sedated up and high up and all these other kind of things and all these other kind of, amen, and I'm just breaking it down, amen. I'm a down to earth, amen, pastor, I tell it like it is, amen, I don't sugarcoat, I don't cover coat, amen, I'm not going to give you no cake and your ice cream, amen, so you can eat it, amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you I Amen. He did not mean for us to. Amen. I mean, I don't understand where the clothes coming from. I need somebody to explain this to me. Amen. Now, I'm not saying it's a sin and I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong, but some of us it has gotten to our brain. It has gotten in our mind. It has gotten into our heart because clothing put on a different attribute. Now, somebody might not believe what I'm saying, but somebody can understand where I am coming from. Whatever you put on, that's what you, amen, represent. If you go and buy Gucci, if you go somewhere and buy a... Uh, Versace or put on Versace or whatever, amen, clothing and garment brings out another spirit on the inside. Listen, you got some saint that wear all white, everything white. I'm surprised they ain't dyed their hair white. But when they wear this white, they think of themselves more holier than anybody else because of the color, amen, that they have on. But inside, amen, they are nothing but a raven in wool. But you look like you are acting like you holy because of the garment that you have on. Now, a royal priesthood, we are a holy nation. We're not about no clothes, no garments, amen, no jewelry. We're not about that because Jesus was not about that. Now, if you want it, it's no problem having it. It's no problem, amen, if you buy a watch and it could be Versace or whatever. You know, I'm not used to all these, all these new names they got now. I'm just so old-fashioned. I'm saying help me, Lord, amen, to get up to date on what they doing on today. Amen. But I know that word. Amen. I, I know when God is saying what he's saying. Now, we are a holy nation. God saying in his word that we are a peculiar people. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. And that we should show forth praises who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light because if we was yet still in darkness if we die today or tomorrow we are going to that place where they read at amen where they had their hands up that is a imagination uh of hell amen which we can't nobody just it's only in their imagination amen that that's a picture of hell but 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 it's everything is totally different i mean even the colors the colors in heaven is not like the colors here on earth the green in heaven is not like the the green here on earth and i'm gonna tell you uh, uh, something real quick amen i witness god allowed me to witness heaven now listen this vision that god placed me in immediately i forgot about my husband i forgot about children all i wanted to do was be with jesus i saw i saw green not like the green that's here on earth. I saw red not like the colors that we have here on earth. It's just a total, total, total different. And God began, I didn't want to go back. I did not want to come back. I wanted to be with the Lord, but he said, my time is not yet. And God began to uh, send me back. And everybody just was sharing with me, amen, what was going on with me. But I was not aware because I was in 
that time in the presence of God. Now, I didn't say I saw Jesus. I say I was in the presence of God. Amen. So don't get things twisted on me now and, and go to saying other stuff. Amen. So I have to make it plain. But glory to God. We give God, amen, the glory and the honor anyway. So, but we must always give God the praises because he brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now, listen. We're going to get back on this here. Now, Jesus chose 12. We understand that he chose 12 disciples. Now, now listen. I, I need you to listen very, very carefully. Now, listen. He did not pick anybody on his side to work the kingdom of God that had attitudes. That had holdups. That had ups and downs. That was wishy-washy. That was up the day and down tomorrow. He did not have those type of people with spirit around him like that because he did not have time because he knew at a point in time his hour was going to come. So he had to be of God's speed and go and train these disciples by teaching them the word of God. Now, some, some of y'all, y'all don't want to be taught nothing. Nothing. I mean, some of you, you think you know everything. Amen. Some of you think, oh, no, that ain't right. Oh, this ain't right. And, you, and you're talking. But listen here. You going, trying to go out on your own. You trying to do things on your own. Amen. Some of you, amen, trying to call yourself being a prophet or prophetess and got people calling your phone. You're asking people for money. Amen. So you could tell them what kind of blessing that they going to have. But you ain't even got. Listen, you ain't got enough force like an ant on a hill. An ant on a hill got more force than you do. You need to go back. And get to the altar and get yourself right with God because you wishy washy. Some I don't see how people can say that they have a calling on their life, and if somebody rub up against you, you ready to fight. Honey, I throw, honey, I got to lay the Holy Ghost down. Well, you ain't got to lay nothing down because there ain't no Holy Ghost in you. Amen. To lay down, to lay down because the, the Holy Ghost, which is love. Does not act unseemly or unlearned. Okay? The Holy Ghost love behave herself. Amen. Love do not act out of ordinary. You know, I see people, amen. Amen. Now it's nothing wrong with praising God. Even when I'm down the aisle or whatever, if I'm in the store and I just I just give God some glory and give God some praise and just just think how amen good he is. Amen. But hey, I see some people, amen, they come inside the grocery store, they laying hands on each other, they about to fall out. Acting all unseemly. That is not God. Listen. What God is saying in this hour. We all have a purpose in life. But you have to wait on your calling. If you cannot take chastisement, you are not ready to be out there on your own. Now, I don't know why I'm going this way. Yes, I do. God, have me going this way. Because this is needed in the body of Christ. Amen. Everybody want to be a chief and nobody wants to be an Indian. Amen. Nobody wants to basically humble. I'm not just saying nobody, but I'm just speaking. Most people. Do not want to humble and submit themselves. And listen, when you doing things, if your leader asks you to do things, do it for the love of God 
that is on the inside. Don't do it with a singleness of eye. In other words, doing things to be seen or heard. Amen. You want to be shown, oh, I did this. Oh, let me rush and do this here so pastor can see me do this here. Amen. You playing around and you running your mouth. And sooner the pastor walk through the door, then you going to act like you're praying. And I don't know what you got, an onion or something to make you cry. Uh, like you just being in the presence of God. Oh, my God. Somebody say, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, in this hour so that I can get things, amen, right with God. Listen. Listen. You and I has to start walking into our purpose. What is that main purpose? That purpose is to live holy, number one. To love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. And then love your neighbor as you love yourself. Listen, I'm, 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 I'm wanna, I want to share something. Now, as a body of Christ, we must... Come and stand together in this hour in love and in the beauty of holiness. We have to start defeating the devil, our enemy, lead us by standing together as a whole in the gospel of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. I need some help up in here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen. This is what's going on. We must get out of here. We must find every unclean spirit that's out there. together as one we must get out there and cleanse those that are demon possessed together as a unit as a whole lay hands for every sickness and disease I don't care if it's leprosy I don't care if it's AIDS I don't care if it's HIV I don't care if it's cancer I don't care if it's diabetes, thyroids, fibroids, amnesia, amnesia. We have to now let the Lord our God, our Messiah, be made well known that he is the only true living God. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say something here. Listen, listen, listen. It is not the Pope. It is not Krishna. It is not Buddha. It is not Elijah Muhammad. It is not Joseph Smith. Now as I said on last week. That the Antichrist spirit is already here. Now we have gotten so culturized. Uh, that we don't understand uh, what's really going on in the spirit realm. Uh, because we getting ready to get persecuted. Like never before. The Antichrist right now. At this time. At this moment. Is setting things up. Listen. There is. A new. I guess a, a new church. From a man. He's a self-proclaimed, or call himself a self-proclaimed Messiah. Anybody call themselves a Messiah is an antichrist because they are claiming themselves to be a Messiah. And we round here, we will fellowship with one another. I know while Satan is getting ready to persecute what goes on yesterday, today, and will be forevermore. The game is the 
saved, but the players change. That's the only thing about this thing. The players change, but the game is still the same. They're still going to start persecuting Christians. They already done started in certain parts of the country. It's getting ready to come over here in America. Listen. Somebody better tell somebody we got to get this thing right. Right now. Not tomorrow, but we got to get this thing right now. We got to get together. It's too many of them out there. And they are, they are pulling these souls in. And they making them a child of hell rather than a child of God. And we round here with attitudes and hang-ups as leaders where we won't even fellowship with one another. We don't even call each other and then check on one another. We don't encourage one another. When we all say that we're serving the same God, we can't be. Because some of us got some spirits of up, up in hell. Like the sound say, up, up, up in there. Amen. Some leaders got some stuff up, 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 up in there. Glory to God. Pride have came in the way. Me and mine has got in the way. Their names have gotten in the way. It's, it's no longer Jesus' ministry, but it's Joyce Mine's ministry. Amen. Come on, I'm saying it. It's T.D. Jade's ministry. What God at? Huh? Listen, I'm telling you. I don't care. I'm telling you. And the day I have to stand before, if, if they want to persecute me, then let me be persecuted. Then let me die for the truth. Let me die for Jesus. But I won't really die. I'll be leaving from one side, going to another side. But listen here. Listen. We have to start getting a grip on things right now. We got to start coming together. We got to call us a fast. We got to get like David when he was getting on his fast. All of Israel began to fast. He put on sackcloth and ashes. And everybody else got on with sackcloth and ashes. It wasn't just a group. It wasn't just a church. It wasn't just a denomination. It wasn't just a tradition. It was the all of Israel. It was all the body of Christ. And we was on one accord. In every war we won. Why? Because we was on one accord. Listen, 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 listen. All of these men, some women somewhere, uh, done instituted something that they are the Messiah, that they are the chosen one. And they done died and they wasn't able to come back in and tell nobody a thing. Because they gone. Once you gone, you gone. You can't come back. You can't tell nobody nothing. You can't come back and say, oh, is it beautiful there or ugly over there? They can't come back and say anything. They don't even have the power. The only one that had the power, amen, to go and say, oh, death, where is thy state? Oh, great world, our victory. And that was Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. When he went down to hell and he preached the gospel and he came back up that third day and showed himself to his disciples. I am he. I am he. I'm showing you that I am he. And there would never be none other that has the power to do so. Listen, the Bible declares in Matthew 24 and 5, for many will come in my name, misusing it and inappropriating the strength of the name of God, saying that they are the Christ, they are the false prophet, and they will oppose Jesus. Trust me. As I shared last week, And other religious leaders. You see that? Ah! Religious. Religious. Religious leaders. Which is leaders that's in a tradition. Leaders that's in a formality. Hey! Leaders. 
Jesus. That's it, a denomination. Glory to God. Somebody heal. Somebody heal. They sign an appeal for peace. Getting ready for the Antichrist. Somebody ah, better wake up. We messing around here making peanut butter jelly sandwiches. Amen. One another having all this hate and all this envy and all this strife. We can't get alone. Glory to God. We act the light. We pose to be evangelists. Evangelize. You got evangelists and deacons and ministers and pastors and missionaries. Amen. I the light elementary. You got some elementary children acting more better than them. Glory to God. Listen. Listen. They're saying they need peace. And when the Antichrist, when he show himself, he's already in existence, just like God is in existence. When he show himself, there will be one, 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 one. And it's not going to even be a religion. He want everybody to fall down deny God, everybody. I don't care if you're a bishop of or apostolic. Hey, I don't care who you are. You, if, if, hey, if you ain't got the seal of God, amen, then you will you'll end up taking that ball. Amen for the devil. Come on here. Glory to God, somebody. Because that, that just because you got bishop, amen, just because you got apostle on your life, amen, that title, amen, it does not mean, amen, that you got the right that you go to heaven because you got that title, amen. That paper means nothing in the sight of God if you're not living right, if you're not doing right, if you're not correcting the sheep, if you're not, amen, being that watchman on the wall, watching when a sheep goes straight, won't you lead in that? And go and look for that one, that nine, that one. Glory to God. Listen here, somebody. Hey, I'm talking to somebody here today. Listen. It's time. It's time. Right now. Listen. And those of you, you know you ain't right with God. A church hopper, you don't do nothing but hop hop the church. One church to another. Spiritually, and God, I say you, you ho hopping. Amen. Yes, you are. And I'll bring it to you in the Bible because you're supposed to be married to God. Baby, you're supposed to be the wife because he's the bride. And you running from place to place because you can't sit down and with your itching panties and be still. Glory to God. You can't be still. You can't sit there and listen. You can't sit and be chastised uh, because you're getting mad because the word it cut you. You bet that's the time to stay there. That's the time to get to the altar and get things right. That go for the women that you got itchy, itchy panties also. Itchy panties in another way. You can't wait for no husband. So you want to go out there and get something. Amen. Just for to satisfy your panties. You ain't satisfying God. You just satisfy your panties, baby. You better wait on God and do what's right. Glory to God. Listen here. It's time right now. God is calling the fivefold. Not just one church, but He's calling apostles. Get up. Prophets, get up. Evangelists, get up. Teachers, get up and let us proclaim our Savior, the true Messiah, Jesus Christ, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the rose of Sharon, the wheel in the middle of the wheel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let, 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 let me just say something. I got to say something here right now. Listen here. Oh, somebody, somebody, somebody need to feel this thing here right now. Now, listen here. A wheel in the middle of the wheel. Huh? Hey, that represents the universe huh? and the path we travel through this world and the afterlife. And it stands for the enduring connection between this world and the next, the power from above and 
the Lord. Come on here, somebody. Come on, I, I come on. I, 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 I need my, I need my, I need my song. I need, I need my song because I want to glorify God. I want to glorify how excellent He is. I want to praise Him. How glory, glorifying He is. It's time. It's time. Let's get up, Baptist. Let's get up, Church of God. Let's get up, Tabernacle. Let's get up St. Luke AME. Let's get up holiness. Hey, let's get up Pentecostal. Let's get up apostolic faith. And it's time let us join hands and declare our king to this world that he is still here and he's a living God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And it's time to move flesh out of the way. Move uh, your traditions uh, out of the way. Uh, move uh, your formalities out of the way. Uh, move uh, these denominations out of our way. And it's time to move uh, together in God. In our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, it's no time to play no game. Ain't no time to be no pimp with no tricks now. It's time to get real and get this thing right with God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, it's time. There may be somebody right now under the sound of my voice. Right now. Right now. Right where you stand, right where you are. I don't care if you're driving. God will hold that wheel for you. While your hands on the wheel, he going to be there. And just glorify God and tell God, thank you. Listen, some of y'all right now, you're about to blow up. Most of you is holding, holding, holding what's on the inside. Like Jeremiah says, like fire, shut up in my bone. That word is just embedded in and all of them gifts is embedded. It's time. Right now. Leaders, it's time to get real. It's time to stop patty caking people on the back. Letting them sin and tell them it's okay that God understand. You got leaders that's supposed to be standing with you in that pulpit. Amen. When you preaching that word, amen, they supposed to be praying with you. Amen. They supposed to be praying for you. Amen. Not with a full belly of grits head. Amen. And some fish and hash browns on the side. Amen. And a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Amen. They supposed to be fasting. Amen. When they come. Amen. In the service of God. And help pray to loosen up some of them unclean foul spirits that's up in there. But if you got a team behind you that's full of mess. It's bringing hardship on you while you minister the gospel. You're fighting. You're tired when you're finished. Because all them spirits done just jumped on you. And just, I mean, just jumping. And it's a weight. Listen, people. You have a job as an evangelist. Hold on. I, I, I want somebody to get this. And... And I'm going over just a little bit. I got to stop. But listen. Evangelists. Deacons. Ministers. You are the ministerial staff. Behind and with your leader. With your leader. You already supposed to be prayed up when you get into that service. Not full of water in your belly. Not a breakfast full of food in your belly. Amen. Not thinking about no food. Amen. Not drinking no coffee or soda. Amen. Before that service starts. But you supposed to be fasting and prayed up. Ready. Ready. For the move of 
of God. Ready to tear down the strongholds. Ready for every shackle to be destroyed. Glory to God. And ready for a move of God to send down his Shekinah glory in that service. Listen. Listen. Right now. Right now. Right now. Whoever you are, wherever you are. God is giving us a chance to repent. God is giving us a chance to get things right. We will make it. We will walk in victory. But we must see our adversary. And our adversary is not each other. You got to see the real enemy. You got to see how he is out and said, Amen to destroy. Amen. The Bible does declare that the thief come to kill, steal, and destroy. And he's coming to destroy your soul. Glory to God. We got to understand the significance of our enemy. He's your enemy. He's my enemy. Amen. He 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 don't have no no favorite person. I mean, they're like favoritism. I mean, but whoever he can use the most, amen. That's the one he gonna use. Glory to God. But he gonna kill. Amen. He's an adversary. The Bible declares he's not only an adversary, but he is an arch enemy. An arch enemy. That's a real enemy right there. Listen. It's time to pray. And let's get right with God. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for your word on today. I thank you for how you have moved. I thank you for how you have touched minds. I thank you for how you have touched leadership on today. I thank you for how you have touched thy people, oh God, thy men and thy women, and even thy you, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. God, I give you the glory. That gave me the Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you. God, I praise you. And there may be somebody that's listening that's not saved. have a purpose for God. Most of you have seen, been through death and seen many things where you could have been going a long time ago. Many of them have been in prison. God have brought you out. Many, many mind has left, but God still brought you out. This Jesus loves you. This message was meant for you too. Because you were called according to his purpose. He loves you. Right where you are. I don't care where you are. I don't care where you are. When I say I don't care, I don't care where you are. The spirit of the Lord. Amen. Demons got to go. Amen. They got to get out of the way. All you got to do is just say Jesus. If you can't do nothing else, just say Jesus because it's power in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. God, I praise you for the day. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. And I give you the praise. And each of you, I love you. Very much in the precious name of Jesus. I love you. Amen. Instagram and it'll be posted on Twitter.